Yes guys, what's going on and welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I've got two suitcases behind me. That means Henry and I are off on holiday. Well, it's not exactly a holiday, it's actually a work trip, but hey, we're off to Turkey and I cannot wait. Let's get going. Whew. And we have arrived safely in the city of Bodrum. We arrived super late last night after a hell of a long day. It's <laughs> after a hell of a long day traveling. Literally, we had to get a connected flight from Istanbul, from London to Istanbul, connected flight from Istanbul to Bodrum. But we've landed safely and we're here and it is our first morning and it is insane. So we went for a look oh, this guy with the buggies. <laughs> and we've got a full week of events activities and loads of fun things to do but guys if you're new to this channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and make sure you smash the thumbs up too i promise you this video is going to be a good one let's go explore turkey Whew. first things first you know what i'm like time to get a quick workout in Nothing too intense, something really quick, sharp and snappy, just to get the heart pumped. We were traveling all day yesterday and I was stuck in the air for hours and I, I was just so exhausted and drained. So first things first, early morning workout of H and the gym, surprisingly, is actually pretty good. Check this out. This will do nicely for the week. Got a couple of treadmills, all techno gym equipment. You can get some serious workouts in here. Let's get to it. Cat cow, give me your best cat cow, Henry. Jesus, you bendy boy. <laughs> Let's get this work out on the road, baby. Nice. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Good. Come on. One more, one more. Come on. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Good. One more. Go one more, baby. Go one more. Nice, man. Well done. Squeeze. They just did biscuits. Nice, man. Guys, when we're traveling, when we're on holiday, or whatever, we keep our workouts short, sharp, and effective. So, H and I are just running around from machine to machine, high reps, really little rest. And as you can see, we're only 10 minutes in, and we're already getting a really nice sweat. Good. Squeeze the top. Nice, keep going. Veins. Zoom in on those veins. Crikey. We're done guys. 40 minutes is all it takes sometimes to get on with a really good workout. Feeling so good after that. I always say, just try and get a little bit of a workout on your holiday. You feel so much better from it. Like I was on a plane yesterday, 40 minutes, for hours yesterday, and I was just so lethargic. When you're sitting on a plane all day, you, you stiffen up and you feel horrible. So first things first, always got on with the workout and you'll feel so much better. My endorphins are absolutely flying now and I feel great. But anyway, time to quickly race back to our hotel room, get showered and go and check out the hotel buffet. Because we all know how much I love a buffet breakfast. <laughs> Let's go check it out. So we arrived a little bit late for breakfast and we missed out, I think, on the best bits. But I'll show you what we've got. I kept it relatively healthy, but it's a big old breakfast which will keep me fueled for the day. We always kind of do the same thing. We have a huge breakfast, snack throughout the day lightly and then have a beach dinner as well. But we've got some pancakes, we've got some eggs, we've got some cereal and some fruit. So let's check it out. Thank you very much, my man. It's not too bad. We've got some eggs, some pancakes, some bread, some watermelon. Yeah, I've got a bottle of peanut butter, I think. That will do. Henna's gone for the same. 
I still think you're a very weird guy for having all. Actually, no, I wouldn't say you're a weird veg for breakfast. Get my vitamins in. Get your vitamins in, I like it. But anyway, time to eat, we're hungry. Breakfast actually went down really, really well. Oh, my head, it kind of got loose. Uh, that was lovely, tasted really good. Just what I needed after a big gym session this morning. Feeling good. So now it's just a day of chilling. They said an itinerary. We've got free time from 10 till 5. So that is literally sunbathing all day, swimming in the sea, jumping in the pool. Since I left Spain about three weeks ago, my tan is completely gone already. So it's time to lay in the sun and get really bronzed up. And I'm just gonna show you guys my outfit, what I'm wearing right now. I'm wearing this like Rondorf kind of outfit. It's Rondorf, the brand, by the way. So this striped t-shirt and these really cool blue kind of training shorts or just some flip-flops with some sliders, if you can see them. But it's a really cool kind of like holiday outfit. But yeah, check out Rondorf. They're a really cool clothing brand. They're like, a, I think they're from Stockholm and they just do some really nice, simple, cool stuff. And this is one of their looks. But anyway, time to go tan. So I'll see you guys down at the beach. Peace. So guys, there is actually a reason I'm here in sunny Turkey. I got invited down by the tourism board, Go Turkey, um, on a fully inclusive trip here to come and experience the beauty of Turkey and stuff. And I'm so grateful to be here. I got up early this morning and I went for a little stroll around the hotel and the place is absolutely huge. But check out the view from my hotel. It's just insane here. Look how nice that is. We're literally right in a mountain here. It's beautiful. I'll catch you guys down at the pool in five minutes. See you in a bit. So guys, just made my way down to the beach and honestly, it is insane down here. I didn't mention, but we met uh, the other members of the group late last night and they're all absolute legends. And I messaged some of them this morning. And I said, where about you guys hanging out? And they said, we're down at the beach in these VIP huts. Check how cool these VIP huts are. Like, they're insane, look at this. So our hotel, as you can see, is up in the mountains over there and we're in these VIP huts. How cool are these? And there's the beach and this is our one right here. Let's make our way through. Got some champagne, Prosecco on ice. So pretty. The girls. All the team. So I can quite happily say that I'm going to be very content today. Here's Hennis, how you feeling? How cool is this? How cool is it? So bougie. So bougie. I love this effect on my face. It looks so cool. But anyway guys, I need to get in the sea. Um, so... Oh, backflap! The back of my teeth Your backflip was terrible. Oh, was it? Apparently then my friend Rona said that the dentist was First time in a while. Nah, you weren't too bad mate. She was like, oh you went to Cuba then. Why is it whenever I go to a hotel I just feel obliged to put on the gown? Post shower? <laughs> we spent the whole day just literally chilling out down by the beach. It is so beautiful down there, like it's insane. I didn't catch too much of a tan out there because we were just literally chatting to the guys, having a few drinks, just chilling out. I wasn't really focusing on sunbathing. So I'm a bit annoyed I haven't got much of a tan, but don't worry about it, I've still got three days left. But anyway, it's time to get changed. We're gonna head into the city of Bodrum. We've got a really nice dinner planned and apparently it's beautiful around there. There's so many old like boats, loads of super yachts and stuff. So I'm super looking forward to seeing that. And apparently, Henry, We've got ice cream tasting tonight. That I am super looking forward to. Time to get ready. Yes guys, so we are ready for this evening's dinner and night out. Just gonna talk you through my outfit. I'm wearing a full French Connection kind of look. French Connection linen shirt, French Connections. Uh, these are actually skinny white pants. I keep saying pants, I'm not American. <laughs> and these Sperry boat shoes, which I think is class. It's such a nice summer outfit, this. Topped off with some real nice accessories. What are we thinking? If we're liking this look, drop a comment below. Mine's way better. Though. Are you mad? We look actually quite similar tonight. tonight. Linen kind of shirts, white trousers, and brown shoes. Right, we're looking okay. good. Okay. Looking spicy. So I'll catch up with you guys at the restaurant, which is where we're heading now. Let's go. And the best way to travel around this hotel, because it is so large, is in the back of this bad boy. It's very bumpy. So guys, we've just stepped off the minibus, and this is our destination. No oh, sorry, man. We're not, we're not allowed having the camera out? No. Oh, okay. Obviously, we have to wear a mask everywhere. And the guy has just told me that I'm not actually allowed filming, so the camera's going to have to go in the bag until we get to the restaurant. So, guys, we've just stepped off the minibus and landed down at the port, and this place is absolutely stunning. I'm surrounded by beautiful mountains, the sea, amazing restaurants, and beautiful boats and yachts. Just check this out. Yachts just leading all down the boardwalk. 
the mountains just surrounded here and we're eating at this restaurant here called Sayet, S-A-I-T. It's right on the seafront. Check how cool that is. And look at this sunset. Absolutely magnificent. Time to head inside and get some food because your boy is hungry. Oh my gosh. Fresh fish, how good does that look? Jeez. Henna's with the sea bass. Lovely. Oh, it's so that looks so good. Now we're at the dessert comes. And we are in the middle of the sea. Look at this. 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 Look it is insane. You haven't tried baklava before. Baklava, baklava, whatever you want to pronounce it. Go and get it. It's incredible. It's like a layered pastry smothered in honey and they're delivering more now. Oh my god, I'm gonna eat too much of this. I'm gonna get fat. My apologies. Oh my god. It is the best in the world. A few moments later. I am so full. I'm guilty of eating pretty much 75% of the back of the bar for the table. And apparently now we have an ice cream tasting tour. <sighs> please, I need help here. If any of you guys have a sweet tooth like me, please drop a comment below because I have the biggest sweet tooth in the world. This I? kid's terrible. We'll be complaining all day tomorrow by the beach going, oh my God, yeah, He knows me too well. I'll try and get a topless photo tomorrow and I'll be like, I look fat, I look horrible. My abs aren't looking good because I had fat. 12 pieces of baklava and if you guys know baklava it's literally just pastry and sugar but what the hell we're on holiday right we're here to enjoy ourselves and have a good time and it's only one bad day who cares one what's day. going on guys and good morning i left you guys last night after just finishing dinner and having eaten all of the baklava in sight yes i am feeling a little bit ugh, this morning i'm not gonna lie because i had far too much sugar and i slept terribly because of it that is why I say don't overindulge. There was just a plate, when it's all given to you and there's just a plate of food there, I can't say no, it was just one after the other, one after the other. And then we went to an ice cream, ice cream tasting tour and I, I was like so full I couldn't even have much. So I had a tiniest bit and I was like, hell no, I'm not having any more. But hey, it was incredible where we went last night. The place was beautiful to say the least. The place we went last night was called Yalik Avak, I believe. Yalik Avak? I, I think it was that anyway. And it was down the port, about a 30 minute drive from here at a hotel but it was incredible. Anyway, because I feel guilty this morning, I ate too much. Well, not that guilty, really. We, it is what it is. I'm gonna go back to the gym this morning. It's early here, it's just at about 7.30 a.m. and I'm gonna smash a 40 minute leg session just to get really sweaty. <laughs> so you guys can come along with me. And yeah, if you guys are here, I kind of feel less guilty. So we can get a workout together. Let's get it. <laughs> So that's done, we finished, as you can see. I am very sweaty today. Like I mentioned yesterday, guys, I don't want to spend my whole morning in the gym. 
I want to keep things really sh short, sharp, and snappy. Kept that at 40 minutes. Best thing to do, choose a few exercises, lower your usual weight, up the reps, and just like really pass through them really quick and superset and stuff. So as you can see, every exercise I did there, I had a less than a minute rest in between. So I was literally less than a minute from next exercise or next, next set. Bashed out four sets on each kind of exercise there. If you guys have access to a gym, then go and do that workout. That is a great leg workout. And obviously my legs are gonna feel it today. I haven't shown you yet, but this place, the hotel we're staying in, Duja Hotel, is literally on a, kind of like a mountain, on like a side of a big hill. So there's steps everywhere. So I kind of think I might have made a bit of a mistake doing legs today, but hey, screw it. <laughs> anyway guys, time to grab a quick shower, a big breakfast, and then we are chilling till two o'clock, and then we're going for a wine tasting tour today, which I'm super excited about. So let's go get some pool time. See you guys in a bit, peace. And we're finally down. Hi guys, so we're taking over. Who run the world? <laughs> Girls. 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 Yeah, so today we are just chilling in the VIP area. I think the person that the camera belongs to is the I know, I know. And he's right there. Loving life right there. Oh, he's got his AirPods then. Oh, so he can't hear us. This was fun, gotta go. Okay, I'm back. We have to show you something. <laughs> and I'm vlogging it for you. <laughs> Love it. You're gonna be on that vlog. These two are the coolest guys I've ever met. It's great. Why is everyone recording? Cheers team, we love you. Gabs, you're an angel. Give me some skin. Follow me. G give me some skin. And if she's <laughs> plugging on my YouTube, you Everyone are plugged. terrible. That was so funny. We actually gained like a little bit of an audience. Everyone was getting their phones out. And as Henry said, if that doesn't end up on influencers in the wild, well, we don't know what will happen. <laughs> that was so funny though. Anyway, time for some lunch because we're getting so hungry now. Let's see what the uh, lunch buffet has to offer. <laughs> What's up, gang? So after a glorious day of just chilling by the pool, catching some rays and relaxing, I love that, you know I love to relax. It's just so nice to stop. We are now gonna go to the bus because we've got to gather together at three o'clock. It's now five past three and Henry and I, of course, are running late. And we are going on a wine tour and a four by four tour. And apparently what it is, is we get in these big old Jeeps and they drive us around vineyard to vineyard tasting wines. And I absolutely love wine. So this is gonna be a very good afternoon. Let's go drink some wine. Come and join me on this, because I think it's gonna be pretty fun. <laughs> the convoy has arrived. They say cool kids at the back of the bus. <laughs> oh dear. And the losers in the front of the bus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really sure where we've landed. I feel like we're at, in a scene out of like, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. We're like, at the middle of the vineyard. The guy's just like come out, and if you see behind me, right over here. He's literally just come out rolling out in a wheelchair. What the hell are you doing in my house? I feel like we're gonna get murdered. No, I'm kidding, but I think we're fine. There is, it's actually really beautiful. There is vineyards, as you can see behind me, all in here. And we are off now to go and test and try uh, loads of different wines. So we realized the guy in the wheelchair was not a mass murderer. He's very safe and lovely. So we're in safe hands. <laughs> Is it Rosé? Yeah. yeah. Who's, Who's, Who's it, Rosé? Who's it, Rosé? Poolside. In Florida. Ching, ching. <laughs> you going to have You smashed it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, you can't. Oh, you can't. 
This is my kind of experience. Cheers, guys. Ask us how long will that wine lasted? Probably 10 minutes. So we're heading up further up into the hills. And this is probably the most rockiest and bumpiest road I've ever been on. So we left the wine tasting and after an extremely bumpy journey up the mountain, honestly guys, up here, sorry, is breathtaking. The view is incredible, so rather light. They said they had a little surprise for us and this is the surprise. We've got dinner, wine, Okay. On the top of the mountain, check this out, it is stunning. How cool is this? This is so cool. Nibbles and wine with a view. Check this. I didn't lose my sunglasses, that would be also sick. New donut. Very excited for this. And we have good surprise. Very good surprise, you. Look at that view, it is absolutely, absolutely spectacular. Guys, this is actually breathtaking. Just look at that view. Cheers to this vlog. If you guys haven't already, please drop a comment. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe because there's going to be a lot more cool moments like this happening over this channel. And I really want you guys to be here with me, enjoying it. Good night, God bless. And amen. Morning guys, what's going on? Another glorious day here in sunny Turkey. As you can see, the sun is shining. It is beautiful. And this morning, I decided to treat myself. I booked in a massage. And it's as if we've got a sharing room. Okay. Why we always do this? We book in as a pair. And they're like, yeah, go on, they can share. So me and him are gonna get massages next to each other, like a couple, like a married couple we are. I'm actually really excited for this day. This is going to be nice. Phones off, cameras off, and time to relax. So I've just made my way down to the boardwalk, and the sun is shining. It's our last day here in sunny Turkey. Bodrum is beyond beautiful, and as much as I try to work on my tan, I just get really restless and bored. And because we're with such a cool group of people, we're just literally lying around and just talking and not really tanning as much. But we're getting a, a last few hours in to see if I can work on this bad boy a little bit. <laughs> but anyway, we've got three hours here in the sun before we're going to go meet all the rest of the crew upstairs with the mini bus, and we're going for like an evening walk and tour. And she said to make sure we wear comfortable shoes because we, we're going to be doing a lot of walking. But anyway, time to chill out, and I'm actually going to grab myself a Turkish coffee. Now, Turkey are famous for their strong as hell coffee, so I'm at the bar now. I'm going to grab one. So this, ladies and gents, is a famous Turkish coffee, and they blow your head off. So we jumped in the bus, and we jumped in the same 4x4 Jeeps as yesterday, and they've taken us back up another mountain and to check out the oldest ruins of the country, as you can see behind me. All the old ruins stuff, it's quite beautiful. And we're standing on the edge of one of them and the view in front of me. Another amazing view, would you believe it? And you ready? Listen to this. Let go! Oh, just, why the hell are you getting a photo here then? This is, in, this is Instagram, Instagram influencer <laughs> at the forest. <laughs> she stood here on the edge of a cliff. Or oh, a small cliff, actually she's quite a big cliff. I think you would. Getting a shot for the gram. Pete, you are an Instagram boyfriend right now. I love this. Instagram boyfriend. <laughs> hey, Instagram boyfriend. Are you okay? Come on, Fran. You've got it, darling. Well done. <laughs> Influences in the wild again. We're back at it. Trick numero two. With the gang. The views again are quite magnificent. Bang. So it's Pete Clark here on day two of survival in Turkey and I had to come and save one of one of the twins who got lost out here. He got lost out here last night and I come to get him. Uh, I almost died out here in Turkey. The guy saved me. Sorry about that. I'm on this trip with some absolute morons. <laughs> but we're heading back to the Jeeps now and time to head back to the hotel for a beautiful dinner. This is our final night in Bodrum, so let's make it a good one, shall we? Peace. 
So guys, I just landed back in from our hiking and I thought I'd run you guys through my final attire for this it's kind of like holiday. Uh, I've got this on, where's this top from? It's River Island. This Henry's River Island top. I've also got these River Island, this is actually pretty much a full River Island look. And these snazzy and sick. You look really red hats. tonight. You caught the sun. I caught the sun today. So I caught red. I, didn't put, I forgot to put sun tan lotion on this morning. It's Skin good cancer. That's bad for you. It's only your chest saying, though. <laughs> full look from River Island, and I've got these snazzy shoes from uh, Gordon Rush. They're an Italian brand, which I've shown off plenty of times before, and these are class. But we are off to a lovely seafood restaurant this evening, and I'm so excited because we've been walking for the last few hours, and your boy is hungry. So, guys, let's go get some food. That will do nicely. We went star watching last night, and literally. Good morning here with the gang. We're up at the crack of dawn after a great night last night. We went off, had a few beers, just chilled out and just got a reasonably early night. I got to bed about midnight and we're up at about six o'clock this morning. As you can see the bags under my eyes, I'm looking tired, but we're good to go. Saying our final goodbyes to this lovely hotel and lovely staff. Jumping on a coach and off to Bojum Airport and then get a connected flight to Istanbul. Istanbul, then back to London. So it's gonna be a long day of traveling. My favorite thing to do. Guys, we had a stopover at Istanbul for about three and a half hours and I've just been walking around this airport and honestly it is incredible. The place is absolutely huge. Now it's time to make my way to the gate. A, I've got the A3, which I believe is ahead of me, and catch my four hour flight back to London. So I'll catch up with you guys as soon as I land. So guys, the trip has ended. We just landed in back in London. Yes. Come on guys, get through. We just landed back in London. Wait, you oh. you're just. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna have a lot of editing to do. Right, guys, you just right, landed. Look, this guy's copying me. Uh, Jesus we're Christ. We're Christ. Uh, <laughs> Hi. Yeah, Hi. She's trying to end Will's vlog yes. here. <laughs> so, yeah, we're talking about the trip. Girls, it was an amazing for Thanks for watching. Follow us, Gabriel GZ on London Vlogger. Too much. You can just sign out. You love the trip. It was so fun. It was so fun. Thanks, Thanks for, for tuning, tuning in, in like, comment, subscribe, like, share. What these guys said, like, give me that camera back. <laughs> guys, it's yes. been a good one. We've got a massive week do next week. Do a dislike, please. Don't do that. Don't do what she did. What? I'll catch you guys next week. We've got a really exciting week ahead. And we're picking up a monster of a car. And it's going to be a sick week. And you guys, of course, are coming along with it. Guys, see you on the next one. Have a good one.